Oh, there we go. Good evening. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. This is my second recording for the evening. Decided I was going to try a watercolor that has a little bit of um, like a landscape, but with some water. So I'm not going to show you what inspired me. Maybe I'll tweet you what inspired me afterwards, but I'm not going to show you now in case it doesn't <laughs> turn out, unless it turns out completely different in case it turns out completely different, I should say. But I want to try, I'm going to compare last, um, I did this watercolor in part one, my first one, and I used my um, Daler Rowney um, little uh, travel pad of watercolor half pans on that one so I thought I would try my other new what I bought was I bought a this blank um, palette and I filled it with some cheap or cheapish cheap I'll just name it how it is cheap tube watercolors and I didn't do my, oops. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Traveling home, they're coming apart in pieces here. Uh-oh. Well, that's interesting to know. They're still kind of sticky. So I thought they'd kind of dry out completely. And I guess some of them did, some of them didn't. So anyway, whatever. So I'm going to use these and just do a little comparison with the half pans compared to the cheaper tube watercolors. And I'm going to zoom out one more notch here so that you guys can see a little better so I don't have to try and squish into the... There. Okay, so... that out of the way so it doesn't get messed up I just have this sitting on a binder so that it's slightly slanted going down so that uh, nature will help me out a little bit and I'm going to get out a couple of baby wipes so I have one or one anyway so I have a dry one when I need it okay so I'm going to start with a wash of what I hope is clean water. <laughs> anyway, get my paper all completely wet. This is Arches water paper, watercolor paper. It's got a little blue in that, but that's okay. I'm going to be using blue anyway, so it doesn't matter. You want to really wet your paper. And I'm actually, I think it needs more, so I'm going to go the other way here. My first background layer is wet on wet. <laughs> Sound like I know what I'm doing. I've just been watching. This is my second ever watercolor. So, other than my little zines that I did, which I practiced, which I only did uh, sky and grass for, because it was more like cartoon style. So, anyway, there's that. Okay. By Low Cornell. So these are different than what I used on my first one. So I'm just going, I'm doing a comparison 
it's the same paper so we're going to get a good comparison all right so my blues are here that i want oh darn it that was still geesh, dirty all right still had green in it i thought i washed it out nicely i forgot Oh, actually, I don't want, oh, darn it, I don't want blue first anyway. I need a little bit of yellow first. Oh, actually, no, I don't. So I'm just going to spray my colors here that I think I'm going to need. Okay. Alright, let me switch back to my painting that I'm kind of using as inspiration here. Okay, so I'm starting with blue at the top. And so I'm going to mix these two blues and I need to spray some water in my palette as well. Lots of water. Mix up some a nice wall, well of paint here. I'm going to use all three of these blues, see if I can get a nice mixture there. Okay, so I need this across the top. So I'm just doing what's called a flat wash. And then I need that color along the bottom as well. There's imperfection in the paper there where I mess, messed up pulling the page off below, but that's okay. Well, we'll just work with it. Okay, Ali. Alrighty, Carol. Yes, CB. I'm going to do some water this time. Hills and water. So there's land and water. Yeah, land and water. I guess I should have mixed all my colors first before I started in on this. All right, my my water is not clean enough. I guess I could have used that with a little bit of green in it anyway. idea what how to mix these colors yet so this is all just whatever happens happens kind of thing at the moment okay so this is going to be most of the rest of this for this so this is just my wash layer just laying down what's going to be the low underneath colors here all right so that's going to go all the way down to the water's edge And I think I need a little bit more. Off the blue here. There we go. Just a little bit more wash of that. Right. 
so now I need to go in and get some greens going here. screen. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now this is going to go here. Do my little clouds here. It's just a dry baby wipe. Drew's dry paper towel. I was just too lazy to go out in the kitchen to get a new roll of paper towel. <clears throat> and then you go. Oh, how come that went down like that? Oh no. It went. I didn't want that. Darn it. Then the next layer of hills uses some real nice golden colors. some of that down here okay <sighs> I need to drop in a little bit of water here little green paint because it's got messed up there and I need to drop in a little bit of yellow because it got messed up here uh, there's gonna greens gonna go in there anyway so that's okay all right so that's the so now I need to take a little bit of this but I need to water it down more And bring it through water.
details in here. Okay, so let's add a little water to this. Get my green going again here. Um, let's use my round brush, I think. I need to have a sponge, I realize. Okay, so I'm gonna add some detail here. Get some of the edge going better here. Get some bushes in. to do some of my yellow over here there's just I just need to make it a little more um, defined here let's go along the edge and then give it a little texture here dry off. Oh shoot. Put in the wrong well. Collect this water. Dry brush. It'll soak up any extra water there. Okay. And I need this a little thicker. to my my yellow got messed up because this isn't sitting flat uh, that's why there we go I need some lemon brighter yellow here all right looks like everybody's either eating or crafting or something but it's gotten a little bit quiet quiet in my chat, but that's okay. I'm just working away here. And if you're working, all the better. Okay, so now I can go back and finish that green. Now I've gotten a watermark there. Dang it all. Dang it, dang it. See, it's all in the timing. This is one thing that I have learned. It's all in the timing as you paint. <clears throat> I shouldn't have started that. I should have done. I should have done this yellow part first, and then not started the green till I could do the whole green. Because now I've got a watermark all along there. But I'll try and scrub it out if I can. figure it out really is to do it isn't it because you know in your mind it doesn't work the way it does in your mind the watercolor doesn't quite work the way I want it to in my mind so
Okay, hold on. I need my. Where's my other brush? I need. No, I need my. I need my wide brush. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. No, that's the big one. I need the medium one. Yeah, I need this one. <sighs> that's what I should have been using anyway, instead of the brown one for this part. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can fix it. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I went down too far. Oh, well. All right, I'm just gonna have to make this up as I go. Aren't I? No problem. Okay. So, get back to my golden color here. Get some golden color dropped in here. Now, that's going to get green, so I want to take my semi-wet baby wipe and dribble away at this, soften up that edge, okay, because it's going to get, green's going to go there anyway. Okay, so, all right, now, all right, so now I get some green, greenery here, yeah, my proportions are all off, which is okay, whatever. So I'm going to go back in and get some green shrubbery going here. to pull this again it's got too much green in it for what I need all right let's pull this get some I need to get some of that color out of there there we go oops <laughs> yeah get that much color out of it. There we go. Okay. Now that works. Actually, I'm going to try something. Let me try something. All I can do is try and see if it works, right? Because I've got to move that gold up the sum because where it is is supposed to, I want it to be. My proportions all went off. Nuts. So. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so now I'm going to move the gold up. See if I can get some gold up there. It's going to be hard because the gold doesn't go through the green, 
gold is more translucent, isn't it? Hmm. So, I may have to actually do it like this. Do it right from the well. That's better. That's what I want. Okay, that's what I want. All right, there we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Bye, Joycey. See you later. Oh, what did I miss? I missed Sandy's good idea. Uh oh, hold on. Oh, I see, Sandy. Okay. <laughs> I see what you were saying. Yeah. Okay. See, well, I, and what I should have, I should have just got the inspiration and then put the picture away. And I should just stop looking at the picture. Because I didn't really want to make it look like the picture. I just wanted to use it as inspiration, but then I started wanting to make it look like the picture. So now I move the picture away. I can still see where my water line is. Okay, so now the next is some trees. Variations in green trees here. All right. Hey, Elaine. Nice to see you. Okay, so let's see. Now I need different, a few different colors of green. So, hold on. The sprayers in these are like nice and long, but they're like too long. I may have to cut this off because if it gets folded around too much, then it won't spray. Okay, so I'm going to get a couple of different colors of green going here. So there's that one. Then let's get one that's a little more green. Green. Let's pull that one over here. Hello. Over here. Over here. Get over there. And then let's do one that's kind of like a greeny blue. And we'll put that one over here. my colors when I don't really know what I'm doing is, you know, not easy. Okay, but I want a little green in it. There we go. All right, so let's start with, so I'm just going to do some trees here. Oh, um, uh, no, I want to use my round brush. Where'd it go? There it is.
Okay, I have to do more blue. Okay, so now I need to do a little bit of this same in the water. That needs to be, need to water it down more. And then I have to go over it with blue again for the water. Oh, wasn't that a cool video, Elaine? Yeah, on the backwater, dark color. That was cool. Now I need to add, make this just a little bit more blue because it's in the water. I'm going to do the water's edge there in a moment. Now I need to do a little bit of, I forgot to do some trees up here gonna add a few things up here just to give it a little texture in front of the I'm just going back and trying to add some layers to make it a little bit more like different height of trees here, not just a whole, not a blob of green. It's going to dry that. <clears throat> oh, sorry, you're getting a little glare there. Of the water paper. I don't know if I left enough light to make this look like water, but it kind of does. I'm going to do a thin wash of blue over it after. I'm making that look better or worse. <laughs> now I need to do over here add some texture to the these are field. This is a field. But it still just needs a little like texture. So I'm just going to go over it with my round brush and add some texture.
Well, no wonder I'm getting more green than I want. Let's just soak that up so I can start with get some nice yellow. Let's get some nicer yellow there. back in you start going back in is when you mess things up okay so now now I've messed up this this line that I had going here Now to do, I need to fix the water's edge here before I can go and take the white out of it. So let's just do a nice line here. I didn't keep it very straight, did I? And go in with my clean, dry brush. Okay, so now uh, I got green there. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my small little brush here. Who knows? Don't know what it's called. It's just a thin, and I'm going to make first of all make sure it's nice and clean. And I'm just gonna wet, go in with some wet, okay, some water, and I'm gonna go all along where I want the water's edge to be and wet it where the bank of the river water is going to be because I'm going to go back and I want to read it really well a lot of water because I'm going to go back and pick it up with a clean piece of baby wipe Actually, I think I'll do it with him. I'm going to go along with the... back down to white there. Oh, well, we all learn lessons the hard way. There we go. It's coming now. Guess your fingernail works best. There. Now I've got a nice edge, water's edge. Mm. 
and I'm just going to also go back with this making sure it's clean and I'll, over here I want to go back just with this and do a line I just want it more defined right at the water here just going right into the well of the paint just trying to do a thin line here and I messed up there that's okay just trying to do a thin line and over here I'll do it with the green Okay, so now hmm. I didn't get any oh, it'll still come out a little bit good. Thank you, Carrie. Well, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. And you can only, in my mind, it was working a certain way, and you're not going to make it see how it actually works until you start doing it. So that's okay. So I'm fine with that. I'm fine with doing. All right, so I need to go back and get some blue here. up what I because I had some green there but I really need some real real blue and I don't need much I just need a light light layer but let's make sure my brush is nice and clean my water's not very clean anymore it still has a lot of green in the brush oops <coughs> cheapo brushes. All right. <clears throat> now I need to have my little brush ready for when I'm done. Just water. When I'm done of this wash. Okay. So water, water. And blue and blue. I want it very translucent. So let's make sure I'm going to get translucent here. And notice I'm not not trying to do the whole thing because the, the variation I'll make looks like water on a nice calm day in the pond or the lake or whatever it is. Going to take, I want to put a couple sailboats in here. Believe it or not, yes, I am. So I am going to take just plain water, my little brush, and I'm going to draw in a triangle. Oh, 
glue. I need to dry this first, duh. Uh, already dry. Dry, dry, dry. Now, hold on. I don't know why. Something's on the page there because the paint won't stick to it. <laughs> and I don't know what it is. Very strange. Very strange. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. I still need to add another layer on those trees. I'm just not happy with what I've ended up with there. And I don't know what's on my paper at all causing that issue. I'll just cut that part of the painting off, I guess, or trim down the trim down the uh, paper. <laughs> oh, it's not dry. Sorry. be totally dry except where I add the water for the next technique to work and then I have to have a nice dry piece of paper towel that's sort of clean at least there we go okay so okay let's try this It's, but if you if you do the scraping when the paint's almost dry though, it leaves the white it leaves white behind. If you do the scraping while the paint's still wet, then it pulls in the scratch line. So there's two reasons for doing the scraping. So I'm just drawing a triangle to look like a sail of a sailboat with just plain water. And the hope is that it'll come off to white. But let's hope and hope and hope that it does. <sighs> well, it does for him. It didn't for me. I didn't get quite a triangle in there. Darn it. Well, hmm. Didn't quite have it as a triangle. Darn it. And if I do it again, it's going to be too big. Phooey. And now I've messed up that spot, too. Darn it! I don't know how to fix it. There. Drop some paint in, let it dry. Let's try that there too, see if it'll work. <laughs> well, now that I messed up that spot, let's drop in a little blue too. See if it'll Darn it all. You can't you can't fix stuff on watercolor. Uh, yeah, I may have to just like paint something on it. Cause it's totally ruined now, that spot. Okay, let's just color in. Let's do well, there's not any red anywhere else in the thing, so let's do a let's do an orange sail.
I try and do much else, I'm just going to ruin it. So, all right, what do you think, you guys? Kind of interesting. Okay. Not going to put a second boat in there because, yeah, you know. All right, so the, I just want to add a little more texture here to these trees. It's still looking a little bit more just like a blob. So let's just, uh, I think I need to use my round brush. Where'd it go? There it is. I don't know what color's in it. Green. All right, that's good. You have to do a little more research on which brushes to what brushes to use for what. away from the paper jean step away from the paper step away step away thank you okay not bad for my second ever my first one with water not bad huh i think i need to take some lessons though might have to try and find someone in the uh in the city teaching watercolor so there's my first one, ever landscape. And my first landscape with water. I think I need to do one more little thing here. I know, I said I was going to step away, but you know, you just can't. It's done. Uh, I need a pen so I can sign it. There we go. Now I'm going to let that palette dry before I can close it up. 
and wash my brushes. So, thank you so much everyone for coming and watching me play around with some watercolors. Thank you so much. I'm gonna stop the recording.